What's up everyone, Raf here from BNC Camera, and in today's video we'll be helping you stroll through shooting shoes. If you're a product photographer, you'll need a stacked portfolio to show your range. Knowing how to photograph different products will only increase your resume chances of being hired. So when taking pictures of shoes and or footwear, what are the best ways to highlight their qualities? What are the do's and don'ts to capture shoes perfectly? Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Your footwear should always be flat. You need to show the structure of the shoe. The best way to accomplish this is always to lay it flat. The viewer should be able to envision how their foot would look in the shoe. It would also help if you kept the shoe upright and not limp. Remember, when someone is at the store looking for shoes to purchase, they always see them standing upright on tables. An easy way to give your shoe structure and the illusion that someone is wearing it is by stuffing it. You can fill the shoe with crumpled paper or use a fishing wire to hold up the shoe straps to a frame that can be cropped out. During post-production, you can remove the fishing wire. Another option is to use a model to help show off the shoes. Again, doing this encourages the viewer to envision themselves wearing the shoes. Keep a clean frame. Your background should be clean and clear of clutter. All product photography should be shot on clean backgrounds, especially with colors that complements the shoes you photograph. Unless, of course, your client wants to have a lifestyle kind of feel. If you are trying to take a photo of a shoe out and about, ensure the background scenery is clean and not too busy. You don't want the viewer more consumed with what is going on in the background than the actual shoe itself. Make sure you're using flattering light. Choosing the right light source is crucial to producing an appealing photograph. Stay as far away as possible from harsh lighting. If you use poor lighting, it can result in improper colors and unwanted shadows. Try to keep your light natural and soft. If you have a window nearby, Take advantage of the natural light that pours in. If you don't have access to a window, invest in a softbox. If you're shooting outdoors, try to shoot during an overcast or when the sun isn't at its brightest. Try not to get creative with your focus. A shallow depth of field isn't something you want to aim for. When you softly focus, parts of the shoe will get lost. This makes it difficult for the viewer to see the product. Keep your aperture high, around f11, to get the shoe in focus. Another great way to keep your camera very still and in focus is to use a tripod. Using a tripod will eliminate camera shake and prevent blurry photos. Keep a great perspective. Give your client several shots of footwear to show off the product. Get every angle you can think of. It's better to have more options than less. Try to think like the customer. You look at it from every angle when you purchase shoes or anything in general. And remember, all angles should be flattering. I'll go ahead and call out a list of all angles and perspectives of what you should capture for shoes you're shooting for. Both pairs of shoes at an angle. Take a picture of the left and right side of the shoe. Both of these shots should be head on. An angle shot of the left side and the right side. The front of the shoe, the back of the shoe, an aerial shot of the shoe or an overhead shot. And lastly, ensure you get a shot of the shoe's detail, especially if it has patterns or a unique texture. You want the viewer to fully understand what it is that they're purchasing after all. And of course, lastly, let's not forget about post-production. When you are in post-production, you can start with cropping your images. If there is anything in your frame that is unwanted or you're having too much negative space, crop it out. And when you do crop, make sure you follow guidelines so your images are all consistent with each other. Consistency is crucial in showing professionalism and that all of your photos belong together. Use guidelines to help you with cropping to ensure the bottom and top of the shoe are all aligned. Now being the sole shooter for shoe photographs can be a bit intimidating, especially if this is your first time. Just remember to try to think like the customer first and apply the photography knowledge you have for the actual shots themselves. Hopefully this little guide will help you in your product photography game. And of course, if you find this video enjoyable and insightful, please be sure to give us a like and subscribe. Thanks again, this is Raf from BNC Camera and I'll catch you on another video.